higher places with the completion of the campus. It will be functional from the same campus, different schools and different programs which are modern, state of the art and at the same time traditional. Education is the finest product of human civilization. Many, many years ago, when the great Greek philosopher and educationist Aristotle pointed out that education is an ornament to a society which is prosperous. And it is equally a refuge when a society is in adversity. And that signifies the contribution of education in a society. Nowadays, very frequently we use a phrase, knowledge-based economy. In fact, economy is always knowledge-based. New innovation, new invention. When Galileo invented the theory of electricity, or Newton invented the law of gravity, or subsequent days some scientists, technicians, worked out a mechanism through which even you can overcome the forces of the laws of gravity and can move yourself into a specified vehicle in universe, outer space. All these are best essentially on knowledge. And that knowledge is the offspring of education. I'm particularly happy when this university has adopted as its objective to have linkage with the global world. That is its objective. Rightly so. It has the potentiality of emerging as a hub of education, knowledge, research, innovation, not only for the Himalayan region, but on the one hand, countries of Southeast Asia, on the other hand, the rest of the country. I had the privilege as the visitor of Central University to have a conference of the vice chancellors of all the central universities in last February. In fact, when I assumed this office, I was amazed to find out that President of the Republic is visitor of as many as 43 central universities, and there are demand for more central universities. And this is one area where I do feel India can contribute a lot. There was a time when our great teachers, especially during the days of imperial unity and especially after the Mongol dynasty and even after that 
over centuries, scholars used to come to India, whether it was Taxila, whether it was Nalanda, whether it was Vikram Shila, from all over the world. Student, teachers, students, researchers used to come, study, stay, and encouraged the students, encouraged the learners to have interaction, cutting across the geographical boundaries. Later on, of course, the center was shifted to west. But there is a serious effort being made by our scholars, our teachers, our educationists to work hard to bring back the old rules. It is necessary. When we talk of the global village, when we talk of what is emerging as a global village, it is just not a phrase. It has a much deeper connotation. And that connotation is we, the residents of the global institutions, can occupy our rightful place if we are competent. And competence comes from the skills. Skills come from the knowledge. And knowledge comes from the education. Therefore, the education should be the basic foundation. And here, we have to cover a long distance. We have to walk miles. I'm glad and I must congratulate dynamic chief minister of Shiki, that on these aspects he has emphasized in a small state compared to any other part of the country. A large number of <laughs> excellent academic institutions have come and some more are waiting to come because of this. An appropriate ambient has been created here. Therefore, I have great hope and expectation on this central university. I am really sorry that I could not visit the campus. Of course, when the <coughs> campus will be completed, construction work will be over, I will be able to come and visit the place. But before that, I express my best wishes to the Vice Chancellor to the faculties, to the students, and to all concerned. Please remember, we are to cover a long distance. You are to play a lead role, because the appropriate atmosphere has been created here. In the calm and tranquil atmosphere of the Khmer <clears throat> under the greatness of this mighty mountains which in our religious script is described as Devatatma, abode of gods. In that mountain, under its cradle, these institutions are going to be established. And you are proceeding on the correct way, what you have identified. The schools, like conflict resolutions, like sustainable development, like environmental protection and ecological balance, like folklore and folk cultures, attempt to link with the root to the universe to the locality, to the subjects of universal interest and dimension, all bringing together 
is the job of the university. We shall have to take back our old place which we had centuries ago in the field of education. Yes, I know that as per some survey, out of 200 universities of a grid all over the world, Indian University does not find a single place amongst 200 a grid universities, rated by some survey. We note it. We note that, yes, we are much behind innovation, which is the key to the success. I am told in 2011, when in China and the United States, six lakh applications for new patents are being filed in India, it is just around 42, 45,000 compared to six lakhs of China and America. I know it, but at the same time I know, when I look at the bright faces of the young boys and girls, and when I look at the wise eyes with deep contemplation and determination in the eyes of the teachers, members of the faculty, I feel confident that we need not be disappointed, discouraged, feel despondent, we'll be able to make it up. Let us collectively, all concerned, try to make it up because stake is very high. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.